that summer's eve stuff that they be trying to sell us that are feminine washes those mess us up y'all if you don't know now you know head high chest up and catch that frame because you is my name what up beauty gang happy beauty here and today i'm bringing you guys a long awaited girl talk first girl talk of 2020 as you can tell by the title today i will be sharing with you guys my hidden gems on how i make sure i smell good <laughs> Not just good, good all day. But before I hop into this video, if you are new to Beauty Gang and you ain't never heard of us, sis. I don't know where you've been at, but we are so glad that you found us. This Beauty Gang is hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check the comment section below. You will see multiple Beauty Gang members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid lit. So after that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's get into these tips, sis. Go ahead and listen up, get that pencil, get that pad, because this is a real one. I don't think anybody's really said this before. One of the main things I do to smell good all day is, as soon as I get out the shower, I do not dry myself off. I immediately go to get my perfume, scent, body mist, whatever that I am wearing that day. Spritz it all over my wet body, because I said I didn't dry myself off. I spritz it all over my wet body, and then I rub it in. You just rub it in, sis. Now, for me personally, I take warm to hot showers. I feel like majority of people do, but if you're somebody who takes a cold shower, I don't know if it'll work the same. In my mind, the warm to hot water opens up your pores, blah, 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 and I think that's why the scent lasts so long. But either way, that's the first step. As soon as you get out the shower, put on whatever scent you're planning on wearing that day, rub it all in, and allow yourself to air dry. It won't take long. Now, big tip that you should follow in the shower. Obviously, you should be using soap and stuff, washing yourself up the typical way. But if you are a woman, a lot of us worry about our treasure boxes odor so something that I have done for a well over a year maybe two years now I have used the Dr. Bronner's baby unscented pure Castile liquid soap it's a super long name when I tell you guys this has been the best thing for me personally making sure my feminine odor stays you know good and fresh and whatnot that stuff does the trick it is unscented it's pure that summer's eve stuff that they be trying to sell us that are feminine washes those mess us up y'all if you don't know now you know summer's eve and other feminine washes especially that have scents and stuff throw off our pH balance let's say for a month you used it and for one week you decided not to your pH balance will be all messed up and dang near to a point where like your treasure box will need the feminine wash in order to smell good which isn't cool because it's dang near making you like reliant on it otherwise you're screwed so I go ahead and use the unscented Dr. Bronner's baby liquid soap and it definitely works for me it's very gentle but it does its job like I'm telling you, it will change your treasure box life if you try it out. I believe they have little mini bottles at Target if you would just want to sample it because the bigger size bottles that I get are like up there in price, maybe like $15, $16. So if you just want to try it out, you don't want to believe half a beauty completely. That's cool. That's cool. But hashtag thank me later after you use it and you notice a difference. Another tip is to obviously wear deodorant. However, I will say I feel like not maybe not a year, but at some point in 2019, I switched my deodorant over from Lady Speed Stick. I used to always use that, especially when I was an athlete. But last year in particular, I started hearing of different things and the bad chemicals that are in deodorant, specifically the aluminum property that tends to be in a lot of deodorants. There's research that's been done showing that aluminum has cancerous properties. So I personally stopped using aluminum deodorant. I went ahead and told my loved ones, so Josh doesn't use it anymore. My niece don't use it anymore. I told my friends about it. Like, we don't play that aluminum deodorant over here. It did take a little trial and error before I found one that like really lasted because when I was first going aluminum free route, I didn't know exactly which one to use and I was a little funky throughout the day. I was like, oh. So that's what the aluminum does. But thankfully, Seeker came out with an aluminum free line. They have a couple different scents. I think I use the rose water one. And I've been using that for months now. And I'm good all day. No funk, no stench, no nothing. It does its job just like any other regular deodorant. It's definitely more up there in price, but I think it's worth it because health wise, and it got your back so you don't smell funky. Another tip in terms of scents to make you smell good, after you've gone ahead and let yourself air dry from putting your scent on and rubbing it in, you go ahead and mix a smell good lotion with a moisturizing lotion the reason I say mix it is because I don't know about you guys but for me whenever I do a smell good lotion a couple hours later I'm ashy by the end of the day I'm ashy so it doesn't do the full job that I need it to do which is why I said mix it with a moisturizer that does an example for me of what I do is I use this love beauty and planet marugru butter and rose body butter that I got from Target this joint smells amazing y'all can see it's pretty much gone I really be using the stuff that I be plugging in y'all so I really hope you're listening up this is a smell good lotion like I said so that's a 
smell good lotion but it doesn't moisturize moisturize like I would like because I kind of have dry skin so I was recently sent this texture ID day and night moisturizing oil I go ahead and combine these two together and this keeps me moisturized all day or I also like to use my Palmer Shea Balm I don't have that with me right now but I'll combine that with this and I'll stay moisturized all day and the Palmer Shea Balm smells good just by itself but I'll get into that at another time bottom line point blank period you don't just want a smell good lotion and later you're ashy because although this is about smelling good all day it's also about just your overall hygiene looking good and stuff you can smell good but if you look ashy that ain't cute so go ahead and get a smell good lotion a moisturizer combine them bad boys together rub it in and then put it all over your body that's like the second layer of force build that you're creating in terms of you smelling good all day another tip in terms of smelling good all day y'all always 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 at least use a wet wipe when you do the number two. It is no mystery or hidden fact at this point that when you wipe with toilet paper after a number two, you're really just smearing it. It really doesn't get everything, let's be 100. So ever since I've been put on to the wet wipe tip, I do feel like I'm fresher. Not even a matter of me stinking because you know, you can wipe and you won't stink. But like, I don't know, for me personally, the thought of defecation still being up in there, it just doesn't sit right with me. Especially if you got a man or something and you just, you never know what's gonna happen. It's good to make sure you clean at all times not just for him but also for yourself so something I really like using not just any type of regular wet wipe I actually use the Charmin flushable wet wipes one because they're flushable because just normal baby wipes or whatever you can't really flush those you're gonna mess up a toilet and I didn't want my mama coming for my head two they're very gentle they're very soft kind of like Charmin toilet paper but it's like in a wet wipe form it's super dope and I highly suggest using it anytime you got the number two now if you really want to be extra extra fresh and clean smell good all day you can use them anytime you use a washer Room, whether it's the number one or number two. Another tip to smelling good all day is to floss. When I tell you flossing has changed my, is it dental health life, dental health? I'm somebody who has really weak enamel, so there was a point in time where I was getting food stuck in my teeth and I didn't even know it, and then as it stayed up there, stuck in cavities or whatever, it was starting to cause like an odor. Not no crazy thing, but enough to the point where Josh one day was like, babe, did you brush your teeth? Which I did, he knew I was a very clean person, so that's what made me end up going to the dentist to get it checked out. That's when I found out I had hella cavities, one that was really close to a nerve. Honestly, I'm really, really so grateful for Josh speaking up about it because a lot of people don't have people back like that. And I think that's so messed up. Like if your friend breath stink and it's a continuous thing, it's not just like, oh, they ate onions that day. I feel like you should speak up and say something about that. Cause I personally was like, I guess immune to the smell. I did not smell it at all, but he did. Cause obviously he's the one I'm kissing with and laying up with and stuff like that. And he potentially saved my life because honestly, if I would have let that linger and just never went to the dentist, it could have gotten to the point where it spread to your brain your teeth are in your mouth it's so close to a super important part of your being so all I'm saying is if your friends are out there family member out there definitely suggest them to a dentist but also no matter what whether you have weak enamel like me or you're just a regular person with great teeth you should floss after you eat meals that stuff gets stuck in your teeth that's what causes cavities not just sugar I highly 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 suggest flossing along with brushing your teeth and then also I recently started using a tongue scraper as well I feel like the bacteria that I'm scraping off my tongue with my toothbrush is just getting back on the toothbrush but then I'm reusing it again the next day. It's just like trying to keep things um, a little more sanitary. And I actually really like it because it makes my tongue feel like super clean almost to the point where it's like dry but I kind of like the dryness. It makes me feel like okay I'm starting over like the, the day is new because my tongue is like dry to start off. I don't know that probably sounds really weird but yeah I use a tongue scraper now and then finish off with Listerine. So the order of events. I floss, then I brush my teeth, then I use my tongue scraper, then I go ahead and ooh, 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 Listerine mouthwash. And then if you want to be extra extra with it, you can go ahead and brush your teeth and or floss each time you have a meal. So if you're eating like three meals a day, go ahead and do that afterwards and you'll know for sure that your breath is always going to be A1, but that's extra extra. Now that third force field that you're creating to make yourself smell good all day is to mix like a petroleum jelly with your scent. The reason I didn't say Vaseline is because I personally don't use Vaseline. I know some people do though and that helps their scent last but I was sent this seed jelly from Carol's daughter that smells impeccable you guys it's just impeccable and it's like a petroleum jelly I put that all over my upper body area then you go ahead and spray yourself mm -hmm. all over 
all over you let that air dry just like when you stepped out the shower and sprayed yourself you let that air dry I feel like the air dry lets it really seep in because if you're moving it all everywhere it just it don't do the job okay and again for me personally I put it only on my upper body area but if you have specific spots like maybe your wrist or behind your ear or your belly button you can put the petroleum jelly in that area and then spray yourself in those specific spots you don't have to just do the upper body I just do the upper body because when I hug you you gonna smell me mind you now we're on the third force field layer of making yourself smell good all day still haven't put on no makeup or done my hair yet so that is when after that third layer putting the petroleum jelly on it and then spraying it all over you and letting it sit I do my hair and makeup during that time and by the time I'm done with it obviously I'm fully dry another thing you can do to smell good all day is go ahead and Febreze your clothes like pick out your clothes ahead of time Febreze them before you even hop in the shower do your makeup or whatever and your clothes will already have like this natural scent either that or you can go ahead and use more of an expensive detergent or like fabric softener but if you like me and you're not willing to pay like $18 for no fabric softener because that's freaking ridiculous you can go ahead and use Febreze spray like I do I actually have a mini one that I got from the travel section at Target literally Target Walmart their travel section be popping they be having little mini jergen lotions they be having Febreze they be having two pigs Listerine strips the travel section is the place to go even if you ain't traveling sis but anyway go ahead and grab you a little mini Febreze on the go spritz your clothes with it before your morning routine really starts and your clothes will smell good all day. Another thing you can do in terms of keeping your breath smelling good and stuff all day is to keep minty fresh gum. In particular minty. Y'all know when y'all chew on that minty gum you can literally taste the freshness in every chew. Literally popping in minty gum after you eat dinner or something like that whether it's funky food that you ate or not will be a great way to keep yourself smelling fresh all day. The fourth layer of force field in order for you to smell good all day in terms of your perfume sis. This is the final one. After you put on your clothes spray yourself with the perfume one more time the basic typical stuff that anybody does that wears perfume but now you have four layers of force field to make you smell good since if this don't work I give up in all seriousness though that should definitely do the trick you have now used four different types of scent sprayed on your body blah 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 I know it sounds like a lot but it really isn't once you get in the rhythm and routine of it it's really not much at all and it's definitely worth the compliments the looks blah blah you know everything we've always wanted when we walk past people and they smell a whiff of us is worth it and then if you want to be extra extra with it you can go to the travel section they have little mini containers that you can put lotion mouthwash any spray that you want or whatever in there get the spray bottle and you can literally put the perfume or whatever scent that you decided to use that day or use on a regular you can put that in the little mini spray bottle and then keep it in your purse so if you just want to spray yourself throughout the day take a bathroom break or whatever you will for sure, no doubt about it, smell good all day then. I feel like you already will with the four layers of force field, but you know, if you want to be extra, extra, like I said, go ahead and keep a little mini spray in your purse. And that's it, that's all. That is all I have for you guys, y'all. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you guys be interested in seeing my hygiene routine. So me literally showing you guys the steps that I just explained to you guys, like what my hygiene routine is of how I smell good all day. If y'all want to see a visual routine, representation of that be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hashtag hygiene routine in the comment section below and yeah if you guys have any other girl talk topics you guys would want me to touch on in 2020 let me know because they are back and better than ever again really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new beauty gang is clearly lit and we smell good af and until next time guys bye one time if you're confident, clap two times cause you're on me. Never gave a damn about what they say, cause you handle all your business on a day by day. Head high, chest up, let me catch that frame, cause beauty is your name.